I'm Jeff Oxenford with the Rural Community Assistance Partnership. In this video, we'll cover the basics of valve exercising. Exercising valves is important to verify the valves can be found and are accurately mapped. Ensure that valves operate as designed and to extend their life. Ensure that valves are in the correct on-off position and to have confidence that valves will operate in emergencies, such as a water main break. This will reduce water losses, minimize damage, and be less disruptive to the customers. Valves should be exercised on a set frequency. Critical valves, such as large transmission valves and valves that serve critical customers, should be operated more frequently, on the order of every year or less. Smaller valves, 4 to 12 inches, should be operated on a set schedule to ensure that every valve is operated on an established frequency. The procedure for exercising valves is as follows. First, ensure a safe work site. If possible, work in front of the truck. Use additional trucks in a busy intersection. Use warning lights, cones, signs, and barricades as needed. Crew members should face traffic in both directions if possible when operating a valve. Wear protective equipment, including reflective vests and safety shoes. Locate the valves. Valves may be paved over or covered by landscaping. Remove the valve cover. Visually inspect the valve box. Clean if necessary. Insert a valve key and check to see that the valve is open. Fully close the valve and count the turns. Exercise up and down two to three cycles. And fully open the valve. Before finishing, close the valve one to two turns. Inspect for leaks. Replace the valve cover and then paint it. Record keeping should consist of number of turns, service date, and any repairs needed. Any discrepancies in map information should be identified and corrected. Here's some tips about valve exercising. Valves can be covered by landscaping and or pavement. A metal detector is a good tool to help you locate a covered valve. Once a valve is found, don't lose it. A rule of thumb on turns. The number of turns should be three times the diameter, plus or minus one or two. For example, a valve on a six inch pipe would require 16 to 20 turns to fully open or close. Note that this rule doesn't hold for large valves, especially for butterfly valves. If a valve does not seat properly, open a downstream hydrant to flush the line. Exercise to dislodge any foreign material. Exercise extreme caution if a valve is in a closed position when records indicate that it should be open. This could lead to a water quality problem or cause downstream damage. Be careful not to provide excess torque on a valve. If a valve is very hard to turn, schedule the valve for a repair before applying too much force and breaking the valve. A valve exercising program extends the life of your valves. It is essential in ensuring system reliability and that you can safely and effectively operate your system. For more information about valve inspection and other topics, visit our website at www.rcap.org. The Rural Community Assistance Partnership is a national network of nonprofit organizations working with small and rural communities to ensure safe drinking water and sanitary wastewater disposal. For more information, contact rcap.org.